everybody. I just got home from work and just got out of the shower and just wanted to jump on here because I don't know how much longer I'm going to last. I'm exhausted. Woo! So, um, I kind of just wanted to come on here today. Um, I may, yeah, I, uh, I want to just talk about kind of what happens once you are addicted to anything, to anything. Like, once you are a full-blown addict, then what? Then what? Like, you give up all your morals. You give up who you are. You give up everything. Your family. You break your family's heart. You take them through the mud. Anyone that you love, your friends, everyone, you, you hurt them. If, if whatever you're addicted to is costing you a ton of money, then what? You sell all your stuff so you can keep, you know, paying for it. And then you don't have any stuff to sell. Then what? You've gone to all your family and friends for money. They are done. They are done. Then what? Then what? You lose your place to live. You lose everything around you. You end up homeless. You end up out there on those streets. Then what? Then you compromise even more because you just don't want to go without. So then you're doing all kinds of stuff. Stealing. You said you would never steal, yet here you are. Then what? Oh, you get caught? Go to jail? I'm never going to do this again. God, please help me out of this. You get out, right back to what you're doing. You need to learn how to work on your addiction, period. You need to learn that. Nobody, nobody wants to go through all that. I mean, I'm, I'm being mild. I'm being mild. Honestly, I could take you on, you know, Maybe start, you know, with drinking and then drinking's not enough. So you move on to, you know, pills and then you can't take enough pills to even feel anything. And so what you said you would never do, like heroin, meth, cocaine, you're doing because you just don't want to be sick. You just don't want to be sick. <laughs> and then the other things that you say you're never going to do. Oh, you're never going to ever shoot up? Guess what you're doing? You're never going to snort stuff? Guess what you're doing? It's just, it's just a horrible, horrible, vicious cycle. You will lose everything. But mainly, you're not just hurting yourself. You're hurting your entire family, hurting your friends, hurting anybody who loves you. You are hurting them badly, sometimes beyond repair. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing? Because I'm going to tell you, I went through it. There is people that I love more than this, more than life itself. And they will never trust me again. I don't even think they'll ever speak to me again. Are you prepared for all that? Are you prepared for the names you're going to be called and how people are going to treat you? Are you, going, are you prepared for having nowhere to shower or bathe? You can't get a job. And even if you could get a job, you can't hold one. Are you prepared? Are you prepared for jail? Are you prepared for prison? Are you prepared for all that? Because I tell you what, if I could go back, I sure wish I didn't do any of it. I sure do. So if you get any anything from this today, learn from me, please. Let me take the hits because I already did. Like, I already did, so just, just trust me on this point. You don't want to go here. 
You don't want to do this. You don't. It's not. It's not an easy life. If you even make it out alive. So. I believe in. I believe in everybody. I love you all. And. I will see you manana. Please make good decisions. Please make good choices. Please. For your own sake. You don't know that road and it is ugly and it is evil and you walk it alone. I love you. See you manana.